Hey everyone, Matt Kalogli with SRP Medical Marketing. Happy Sunday to you. And what I want to do today is I'm going to share with you uh, in this short little video about how to make sure that you get the maximum impact for the week. And uh, this is, I'm going to share with you one of the tools that we uh, give out to members in our private client group. Uh, so this is something that I've never shared before. Uh, I, time won't allow me to share the entire package, but I'm going to share with you uh, one key component. And I think, uh, I think you'll find this very, very helpful. So let me give you a little bit of background on this. So I've coached well over 3,500 uh, entrepreneurs and business owners since 2005. And, um, you know, and I've done a number of business startups on my own. And uh, admittedly, I have ADHD. So I get really distracted by what we call bright, shiny object itis. I find the thing that is, oh, let's go try this. Sorry, here. I hear that, uh, you know, Facebook is working now or YouTube's working now or TikTok's working now or whatever. And so I have a tendency to go chase that, go down a rabbit hole, and I wind up not getting it fully completed. And what happens is I have a bunch of uncompleted uh, ways, tactics, and strategies to be able to grow a business. So then I started to zero that in on 90 days. And uh, that made a big, big difference, but I still found myself kind of jumping around, right? So I'd give myself these really big deadlines and I'd give myself these really big rewards by hitting a specific number or a milestone in 90 days. So what? Um, so then what happened is I, this, I read this quote probably 20 years ago and it really started to sink in with me. And Confucius has a saying that if you chase two rabbits, both disappear. And what I found was that the more I focused in on one very specific thing, and I focused in on the key, the 20% the that is going to move the 80% that's going to have the biggest positive impact, I got exponentially more done. And then on top of it, I had a lot more time to myself. And in the past, what I would do is I would take that time and I would fill it with a bunch of stuff thinking that I had to be busy in order for me to be successful. And the reality is, is that's the furthest thing from the truth. And so as I've been coaching clients over the years and, and specifically working with doctors now for the last year, year and a half, um, you know, this is probably more true than ever because doctors have what I have found like even a little bit less time than most people because you have so many patients that you see throughout the day that it might be a challenge for you to go out and start that side gig practice of cash or market to your existing list. And so this is a tool that I've developed and we're seeing great, great results with it. I want to share it with you. So the basic concept of this, of this tool is this, is you focus on one big idea for six weeks and that's it. If you have other ideas, what you do is you create what I like to call the vomit board and you throw them up on a board or you use a tool like Evernote or Trello or something like that. I don't have time to go into that right now. But basically what you do is we you want to um, take all those ideas and deposit them someplace, but you want to stay focused on the thing that you've identified. And what I like to do is the reason why I like six weeks is I find that really driven people were kind of antsy and we're, we have a tendency to be a little mm, impatient. And so what I want you to do is if you'd really just focus in on those six weeks and then once you're done, take a week, screw off, take two weeks, screw off and then go do it again. Okay. So here is the tool that we use and let me enlarge this for you here. So this is how we plan out a six weeks. And the basics of this are pretty simple is that you'll see at the bottom, that's where our beginning is, right? You'll see like the current number. So let's say I wanna increase my revenue by $10,000 in the next six weeks. And let's say my current revenue is $25,000. I would write $25,000 in that first big block on the stairs. And then where do I wanna be? So if my current for the month is, uh, you know, my current average is 25,000, Where's my ending average? Or maybe I want to just track where I'm going to be. You can do this a couple of different ways, but let's just say, um, you know, your current number, your current run rate is $25,000 in a month. And at the end of this, you want to be at a place where you're at $35,000 in a month on average. Okay. So what you do is you just take that goal and you break it down into small management pieces. Now, each level, each step represents a week. Okay. So each level represents a week. OK, now here's what's really, really cool. All I want you to do is just get one big thing done each week. That's it. Let's say you get that big thing done on Wednesday. You have a choice. You can work on the thing that's now due the next week and get that done earlier. Or you can take the rest of the week off 
and ha not have any guilt. Okay. So the key is, isn't try to be busy, 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 busy. The key is to be less busy, less busy and focus on just the few things. Now, what's the proof in this? Well, like I said, I've coached 3,500 business owners and entrepreneurs since 2005. Uh, I use this tool myself. Uh, when COVID hit, I used this tool and I said, okay, I'm going to take a pause here. I'm going to slow down for a second. And what I did was literally in the span of six weeks, I doubled my business just by focusing on one particular thing. And I kept thinking of all the different ways that I could impact that one thing to get the biggest impact possible. Okay. And it was the number one thing that I focused in on each and every single day, which leads me to my second thing. Doctors, you are driven by your schedules. I get that. I understand that. A lot of times you are starting the day at eight, maybe, or seven 30 reviewing files. You see your first patient at eight 30, and then you're not done to like three or four. And then you get in your office, you collapse and you review charts, which leads very little time to be able to to get stuff done, to be able to grow the practice, right? So you're so busy doing things, you don't have any time to actually grow the practice. So here's, here's what I would recommend. What I recommend, and this is what I tell my clients, is what I want you to do is give yourself 10 hours a week, okay? You can use the 10 hours any way you want, but I want you to give yourself 10 hours a week. And I want you to give yourself 10 hours that are really high value hours. So not 10 hours at the end of the day when you're exhausted after seeing 30 patients or 20 patients or however many you've seen. Give yourself, um, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can give yourself two hours the first thing every morning before you come into the office. Um, I suggest you do this out of the office so you don't get distracted. Um, you can do it in two five hour chunks. Maybe you're going to, maybe you're not fully busy right now. You can block yourself, say a Wednesday morning and a Friday afternoon, something like that. Or you can block yourself one day, maybe a Saturday, but the problem is, is family time, all of that. But what I want you to do is I want you to give yourself 10 hours a week that you're going to be focusing on everything that's related to getting this task done. Now, what this does is usually what we're doing is we're focusing on the tasks that are going to give us the biggest impact at the last minute. And the reality, what we need to be doing is taking our best hours and giving that thing that's going to drive our business forward the most and give it to it usually best part is the first part of the day. So for example, you know, this is a Sunday. I've already planned out my week. My week is already planned. In your case, what I tell my doctors is block your schedule so they can't put patients in there. Um, don't let patients uh, rule you from that standpoint, like put boundaries in and then start to develop a rhythm where you're doing this on a regular basis. So your staff knows very, very, very important that you do this. Uh, it's how you can get a lot of stuff done. So, um, as a review, what I want you to do is focus in on the few, focus in on the big tasks, the big focus that's going to give you the biggest positive impact into your practice and change that revenue. All right. So I have just spent my Sunday planning my week. My Sunday afternoon takes me about an hour to do that. Um, I am very, very clear on where I'm going to be in the next six weeks. And one of those things is that I am going to be starting a second group. This is going to be a new group. I am going to work directly with eight practices. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different than our private client group. It's going to be a small group, but we're still going to do some live meetings and masterminds and things of that nature. Um, so if that's something that you want to find out more about, here's what's more important. I will help you pay, generate an additional ten to $20,000 in the first 45 days. So essentially what you're doing is you're paying for our program. Okay. Now, so... Uh, so if you want to know more about that, we're going to be starting this group probably in about two weeks or something like that is when I'm going to be looking to start this. Um, so if that's something you want to find out more, just um, type in the comments below. What I want you to do is just type in the comments below the number eight. Just type in the comments below number eight and uh, I'll get in touch with you via messenger or email and we'll set up a time to talk. Okay. Do less. You'll get more done. Uh, I guarantee it. Have a great day, everybody.